We would like to do two things uh, today here and just give you an, a briefing of two uh, initiatives that we have here that we think are kind of unique and come from the collaboration that we have um, uh, here on site. One is our Center for Academic Success. This is a, a service unit uh, that supports undergraduate students in their transition from uh, lower level to upper level instruction. Uh, it offers a, uh, a level of services, tutorial services, uh, writing services, and one of the most unique parts is the, um, uh, the guided study sessions, uh, which are actually peer-led. Peer they're led by students who have uh, gone through the courses, work very closely with faculty, and then offer workshops uh, for students that are in the courses. Um, and we offer um, many of those uh, workshops here uh, in very, very difficult courses. I think bio, I'm trying to, trying to read here what the, um, what the courses are, but it's uh, biometrics, biochemistry, uh, 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 pathopharmacology are amongst the courses that are being supported through this very, very unique initiative uh, that is from our Center for Academic Success. And we know uh, that about 65% of the students, the undergraduate students, are actually using the services of the Center for Academic Success. Um, and one of the findings, and we've done some research uh, on the GSS, and uh, we've discovered that uh, there's a difference of a, uh, in the final grade um, of at least one grade point uh, for students who are participating in the services. So this is a significant um, um, activity that supports students and, and their academic achievement. We have a student uh, here, Sumi Sestrestra, uh, who is a biology major at College Park. She's a senior, uh, and she's participated in the Center for Academic Success, uh, both as a participant um, and as a peer uh, leader. And so I'd like to call her up to talk about her experience here and who she is um, and tell you about the, the CAS. Sumi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And my name is Sumitra, and I'm from Nepal. I came to the United States when I was 12 years old, and I graduated from Gaithersburg High School in 2007. After that, I transferred to Montgomery College, and, and after two years, I transferred to USG. I, was, I, I want to thank you all for the dinner yesterday. I was very moved by all the remarks that was made. And um, I want to the continue the theme of giving back to the com community today and filling the shoes, and um, the big shoes, I should say, that, uh, that uh, um, sorry, that uh, Dr. Kandor got yesterday. My um, transition from community, co community college to a four-year institute was difficult. I tried everything I thought I could do to get all the, all the good grades, but I, but, but that was not enough. I'm a strong believer that inspiration is everywhere for those who wants to be inspired. And trust me, I was more than ready. I even Googled how to be a successful student, and when I didn't get, and it was a few times that Google did not give me the answers that I needed. But I did, but I did find my answers in successful strategy class, which was designed by Center for Academic Success and offered by um, bio, Biological Sciences Program. This class equipped me with different strategies I could I could use to learn different materials. It showed me how to be smart about the learning process. Like most students, I always thought working hard should be enough, but, but this was a few times that working hard was not enough, and it reflected in my grades. This, this program showed me that working hard should always be coupled with working efficiently. I used these strategies to prepare for my cell biology and biochemistry GSS. What this GSS did for me was that it provided me with support and comfort in knowing that no matter what I, what, no matter when and where I could, I needed help. My GSS leaders were always there. I, I, and I, and thank God I went to all the GSS sessions because by the end of the semester I had mostly A's and some B's. And um, and and thank God I took, I took, and when I was when I was given the opportunity to become a GSS leader, I took it, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that because. Because I see the students in the GSS who are sitting back in the class are not able to participate and they're hesitant about, about uh, being in the classroom. So I see myself in them and I'm able to encourage them to come in front of the class and to participate and discuss and contribute to, this, to the class what they know. One of my goals in GSS is to create a safe environment. It is an environment where they can ask questions no matter what el how elementary they think their questions are. It is an environment where they can discuss and argue with their peers and know that they won't be judged for no matter what they say. It is an environment that they can make mistakes and laugh about it. It is an environment they can encourage the peers to fix their mistakes. 
when students ask professor a question, there are moments in students' life when they have to turn to their friends and ask, did you catch that? So it is an environment, it is a safe environment and a relaxed environment where, uh, where barriers are eliminated and uh, complex concepts are easier to digest because sometimes only a student can explain in a way a student can understand and most importantly remember. I'm, but, but what I found most incredible about this GSS experiences was that now they are, they are able to admit to, the, to their, their peers what they don't know and what they know, and they're able to come in front of the class. This shows that the students are letting go of the idea about themselves and are overcoming the barriers, and, uh, overcoming the psychological barriers they have created for themselves as a student. And I'm very proud to be a USG student, and I'm very humbled by my experience here. And, and USG has become a part of my extended family, and no matter where I go in future, I will continue to foster the, the virtue of giving back to the community. Thank you.